Brisbane Truck Show 2017. You wouldn't believe it, it's 50 years since the first Brisbane Truck Show all those years ago. And a lot of things have changed, not least where it's held. But changed more than most is the trucks, of course. And the trucks this year, are, they're actually looking sensational. There's a lot of good gear here too, and a lot of new gear. So at the end of the day, let's go and have a look and we'll see what we can fill you in on. Fifty years of the Brisbane Truck Show. But to really highlight just how far truck evolution has come, Freightliner probably demonstrates it better than anyone. A bubble nose Freightliner from the 1950s has been imported in just for the show, and it really highlights just how far we've come. This was this model, or something very similar to it, was actually America's first cab over design. But to see how far they, they've actually come in truck evolution and engineering, have a look behind me, that's the latest Argosy. You can't tell me that's not a big trip. Well this year there are a lot of stars of the show but there will be no bigger star of the show than the first public showing of Kenworth's new T610. It is a seriously nice bit of gear and has attracted people from all around. And uh, they've done a legend version of the T9. And let me tell you, this thing is really special. It's attracting people like, oh, I don't know, like bees to honey. Kenworth of course is part of Packard, but there are two parts to the Packard world and the other part of course is this truck. DAF. It's probably one of the most underrated European trucks in the market, but at the end of the day they've just put a 510 horsepower version of the MX-13 into this truck and it has really changed its character. It has given it a bit of muscle which it desperately needed, but the other thing that's worth pointing out, it's also got an eight-wheeler version of it and it's at 510 horsepower as well. So as a truck and dog, it'd have to come into the reckoning in most people's thoughts I would imagine. Well this is phase two of the new Benz range. They've had huge success with the prime mover side of it. Now they've moved into the rigid side. This is an eight wheeler version. Beside me is a 6B2. These are probably just as exciting as the bigger trucks. Benz is on a bit of a roll at the moment and I can see it being maintained with these trucks moving into the rigid truck market. Fuso this is the Japanese contingent from Daimler. This is a really, really successful brand and it's been one of the great core strengths of Daimler. But one of the real good things on the Fuso stand, believe it or not, is this virtual reality thing. And I tried it on before, it's, oh, it's like driving a truck in space. So if you get down here, come and have a look at that because that is really something unique. And this is the big player, of course, in the Daimler Fold Freightliner. On the left here, we've got a Coronado 112, spec'd out to 140 tonne GCM. This is a big bit of gear and is capable of so much, Coronado. This is the important news out of the engine department, Cummins X15. The important bit about this, though, is the transmission on the back. It's got the technology and the software package that puts the engine and the gearbox together as one unit. That's a really important step. But probably the biggest news out of Cummins is that both the X12, their new 12-litre engine, and the 15-litre, they both meet Euro 6 without EGR. And there's got to be a lot of people who would be very happy about that. A Suzu, number one in the market for 28 years and for very good reason. And this year they're showing off their ready to work range, which has been a huge success for them. But there's also been other elements to the Isuzu success story. And this is one of the biggest ones, the eight wheeler. Scania has kicked some big goals over the last couple of years, but in a definite case of getting ready for the future, they've brought in this 6B2 all the way from the UK, and it is a UK spec. We won't be driving it any time soon, but it's certainly worth a look, and it's good of them to bring it here. Still in the light and medium duty classes, this is a new 4B4 300 series from Hino. Going to be a really important truck for Hino, this one. But this is the big news. This is the FM500, and this thing has really started to kick some goals in the lighter end of heavy duty and in the medium market. This is a uh, truck Hino needed, and they've done a good job with it. This is the Iveco stand. It covers a bit of everything. There's a new seven ton daily van in the background, but the really big news, of course, is international. It only took two years to get them here, but now they're here. One of the things that I really like about the Brisbane Truck Show, it's where the manufacturers come and they put on their best clothes. It makes the industry look professional, makes it look really strong. And that's what the trucking industry, more than any girls, probably needs, is that really good professional image. And we've got the Volvo Group, 
Well, that's three brands, of course, UD, Volvo and Mac. They've got an FH and an FM. The FH is what they call the performance edition, 700 horsepower. And if you like Swedish flags, well, look no further. It's emblazoned with the Swedish flags. Case of beauty in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. They've got a dual clutch system here on the eye shift. They've got the eye crawl system, which is gonna take off with not only heavy loads, but with pulling, pulling B-doubles and so on, starting off on steep hills and whatever. But the true star of this stand is actually the smallest member of the Volvo group, and it's over here with UD. Follow me. There's a Japanese gentleman explaining what this is, but this is the new UD Quan. And at 460 horsepower, up to 460 horsepower, this makes a new development for UD. And it's important because it's got so much Volvo in it that it's become a real mix of nationalities. But that's a good thing. This is still, in my opinion, the best Japanese prime mover on the market, and it's just been made better. Well, we found our way down to the Max stand, and this is a Follomont Superliner. The thing about this truck is that it's been designed to pull 36 pallets as a B-double, of course, but it's not without its bit of bling either. There would be no more Mac if Volvo hadn't bought Mac all those years ago when it was in financial trouble, so they've done a good job with these things. And the fact that Mac is still here, still such a strong player in the market, is due to a lot of things, and one of those things is Volvo. Well, that's the Brisbane Truck Show 2017. What we've shown is just the tip of the iceberg, we've just scratched the surface. But it's a show that comes around every two years and it really is worthwhile. Particularly this year, they've got some really good new gear here. Anyway, that's it for me. See you in two years' time.